representatives of Service Chief Project. The Director of Falconi, Mr. Gerald Levy, and other senior management staff of RTCOM Nigeria Limited, honored guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to be here today to commission the very important strategic asset, the Falconi system. Uh, and in preparing for this uh, speech, when uh, the president asked me to represent him, I thought it might be interesting to find out why this uh, system is named after the falcon, which uh, is a bird. I checked the information on falcon. And the description of the falcon that I came across, I could hardly believe how accurate the description is in the light of what the falcon eye system is designed to achieve. The description is as follows, and I'll, and I'll read uh, what that is to you in a moment. It is, a falcon is described as consummate hunters of the avian world. They are able to spot, to chase, and kill prey quietly and efficiently. And human beings have relied on them for many years as effective hunting partners. End of quote. So this is the... So this is the whole point of this project a facility that has the capacity to spot, to chase, and interdict maritime criminals quietly and efficiently. And of course, assisting the Navy and other agencies to do their work. So the Falcon Eye system is a state-of-the-art surveillance system that incorporates various sensors located along the nation's enormous coastline such as radars, long-range electronic optic systems with thermal or night vision capacity. We're told it has automatic identification system receivers, it has weather stations, and marine VHF radios for communication. The integration of the sensors into the Falcon Eye system, we're told, generates a real-time situational awareness of the activities of vessels in the Nigeria's maritime domain and some selected parts of the Gulf of Guinea. And we've, seen, we've heard a very detailed description from the Chief of the Naval Staff and also from the NSA. But this will enable the Nigerian Navy to generate a comprehensive intelligence picture of activities within our maritime environment for further analysis and in appropriate cases dispatching a Nigerian Navy ship or some other vessels for interdiction, for investigation, and or subsequent arrest of airing vessels. So the Falcon Eye system will serve as a false multiplier for our naval platforms that are tasked to effectively secure a maritime environment from external aggression. I believe it will also enable the Nigerian Navy to effectively combat other maritime crimes that have been outlined already that could dis disrupt the conduct of maritime trade. So why is this project so important for us as a nation? The maritime industry occupies a very prominent position in the matrix of our vital economic interests, and it encompasses activities ranging from fishing and resource exploration to marine research and shipping, among other endeavors. Of all these activities, shipping stands out as a critical link in Nigeria's international trade engagement because it's the cheapest and most efficient way of moving large volumes of goods. So given our economic aspirations and our commitment to international trade, ensuring the security of shipping lanes within the proximate uh, waters is in our national interest. In addition, all of our oil and gas resources which are largely domiciled in uh, the maritime environment, remain the mainstay of our economy. And it accounts for over 55% of 
of GDP measured in different ways. And 70% of our, of our export uh, earnings today. In recent years, some key identified threats within, the, within our maritime environment have taken on increasingly more harmful dimensions to our economy and even the safety of citizens and commercial entities who use our waters. And these include piracy, armed attacks on ships, kidnapping, for ransom, crude oil theft, smuggling, as well as illegal, unregulated, and unreported fishing. It's estimated that Nigeria loses several billions of dollars annually to various forms of criminality, particularly piracy and sea robbery. So on account of the escalated risk in some of our maritime areas, insurance premiums for commercial vessels coming to our waters have risen sharply, making maritime trade an unattractive proposition for commercial traders. So this underscores the need to enhance our maritime security architecture, and consequently, a critical contribution of the Falcon Eye system will be the provision of actionable intelligence for curbing maritime threats to our economy. This administration has demonstrated a clear commitment to building the capacity of our strategic institutions to secure our coastal waters and the precincts of our maritime neighborhood. On the 24th of June 2019, Mr. President accept, assented to the suppression of piracy and other maritime offenses bill. By this act, Nigeria became the first country in West and Central African sub-region to promulgate a standalone law against piracy, which is an important international requirement set by the International Maritime Authority as, a, as part of the measure to guarantee secure global shipping environment. The act provides the much needed legal and institutional framework to improve maritime security and ensure safety and secure shipping in Nigerian waters. Last year, we commenced the prosecution and secured our first conviction under this law. Last month, again, Mr. President conducted the launch of the Integrated National Security and Waterways Protection Infrastructure, otherwise known as the Deep Blue Project. The Deep Blue Project, as you know, is a maritime security initiative of the Federal Ministry of Transport and the Ministry of Defense, which is implemented by the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, the MASA. It combines air, land, and sea assets, which operational components constitute with operational cons components constituted by the Nigerian Navy, as well as other branches of the armed forces, the security services, and law enforcement. Between these initiatives, the federal government has significantly increased our national capability in the area of maritime surveillance and criminal interdiction within our territorial waters. It is clear that this administration has invested substantial resources in steadily building our sovereign capacity for total spectrum dominance of our maritime environment. And on behalf of um, uh, Mr. President, I wish to urge all the relevant strategic institutions and stakeholders to collaborate in the pursuit of this all-important endeavor in the national interest. Let me at this point uh, commend the officers and men and women of the Nigerian Navy for their service in various theaters. You have the thanks of a grateful nation and the resolute support of an administration that is committed to securing our territorial waters and guaranteeing the safety of traffic in our maritime neighborhood. It is now my singular honor and pleasure, on behalf of the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, President Mohamed Jafari, to commission the Falcon Eye Project for the security of our maritime environment and the safety and well-being of commercial and private users of our maritime environment. Thank you very much.